Welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to go over functions. So let's just start coding like we usually do. Var Jane function equals function. We're going to console.log. Jane says hi. Now we're going to have Joe function. Joe says hi. So what happens when we run this is nothing, nothing, nothing happens. Why is that? Well, it's because we haven't called any of these functions. Let's go ahead and call Jane function and see what happens. To call it, I will run Jane function run. Oh, there we go. Jane says hi. Now let's do the same with Joe function. Jane says hi. Joe says hi. We can call these as many times as we want. So let's say, say we call Joe function three times. There we go. Joe says hi three times. Something we can do to simplify this is let's create a function where you can pass in a name. So we're going to call our function say hi equals function. So here we're passing name as a parameter. So what we're going to do is console.log name plus says hi. Now when we run this, we can say say hi, pass in Jane, say hi, pass in Joe. I'm going to clear this down here so you can see what happens easier. Jane says hi, Joe says hi. So it does the same thing as the old code, except we only needed one function. Functions are very powerful. For example, we can put for loops inside of functions. Let's try that. Let's say number of times. This will be the number of times that Jane or Joe says hi. And we'll run a for loop for var i equals zero, i less than number of times, i plus plus. And we'll, we'll show what value i is here. i is, so here we go. We're going to have Jane say hi five times and Joe say hi ten times. When we run it, Jane says hi, I is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, should equal 5 times. Joe says hi, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Joe says hi 10 times. Another thing we can do with functions is pass them as parameters. For example, in JavaScript, what you can do is timeout func equals function I finally ran. You can call set timeout pass in timeout func and let's say we wait two seconds before it actually runs. So we're going to clear it run it 1000, 2000 Bam, I finally ran. So what this does is it says, I'm going to run this code, but I'm going to run it after two seconds. And two seconds here is two times 1,000, as this must be expressed in milliseconds. Another thing we can do here is set interval. And we'll just call it interval func. 
and we'll have it run every second and we'll keep a count times ran equals zero times ran plus plus I have run times ran times now we run it wait for it there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that'll keep running and running until it is stopped so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the background color on an interval so let's let's have a, an array of background colors blue yellow green purple and let's say current background index is zero so initially it will be blue var change background color equals function and we're gonna say background or we're gonna call it new background color equals background colors current background index and we're gonna change it document dot body dot style dot background color equals new background oops sorry new background color we're incrementing it but if it's went to blue went to yellow went to green went to purple and it increments again if this runs again it's not gonna this is this might crash who knows what will happen so we want to have a check in here if current background index greater than or equal to background colors dot length then we're going to reset current background index to zero now you may be wondering why can't it equal background colors dot length well remember indexes start at zero this is zero one two three but the length of it is four one two three four so if it's at four it's going to reference the next guy which does not exist so if it's greater than or equal to background colors dot length we're going to set it back to zero so now we're going to set interval change background color and we'll have it change every second so now when we run it blue yellow green and purple and it's changing every second so that's pretty cool congratulations on making that happen and get ready for some more cool new stuff coming up thank you